Next thing I want to get into is the menu screen on the battery. When you first hit any of the buttons, it comes up with this home screen. Yes, it has bad English. Yes, these batteries are made from China, and if I could fix that, I'd do it in a heartbeat. Anyway, I'm going to press the menu key, and now we're on the main menu. We have four options, analog info, BMS status, parameter settings, and system settings. The only two that really matter are analog info and BMS status. So if we go into analog info, you can see pack voltage, pack current. There is a menu to view the temperature sensors, a menu to view the cell voltages. And if we go down to the next page, there is a menu to see cell capacity and state of charge. But for now, let's start on the temperature. There are four temperature probes throughout the pack and two temperature probes, one for the circuit board, which has the power transistors and the environment temperature. Next, going down to cell voltages, we have all of our 16 cell voltages. Pretty self-explanatory. From there, we get into cell capacity. Now, this battery is currently at 51 state of charge. The full charge capacity is 104.6 amp hours. Remaining capacity is 53.9 amp hours, and CC stands for cycle count. So in other words, how many times this battery has been cycled. This one's a brand new battery, so it's only been cycled one time at the factory. And that's about all that's in this menu. You can view that, and then when you're done, you can hit the menu button to escape to the main menu. From there, you can go down to the BMS status, in which we can see the current status. It's idle, I've got no power going in or out. And then under record, it will show you how many times various different trips have occurred. For example, SCP is short circuit protection. It's never tripped on this pack. O slash UTP stands for over and under temperature protection. So if it's been below freezing or above the thermal cutout, that would trigger. OCP is over current protection. Obviously, I've never triggered that. UVP is under voltage protection, so essentially if you've drained the pack and the BMS has had to shut things down to prevent over discharge. Um, furthermore, on the second page, OVP, over voltage protection, essentially charging the pack and one of the cells or the whole pack has reached too high of a voltage and it stopped uh, allowing charge into the battery. Back on the BMS status menu, we also have another BMS status menu, and that's gonna show any active faults. For example, OT is over temperature, OTP is over temperature protection. So there's an alarm set point and then a trip set point. So the first one, the OT is saying, hey, you know, it's getting close to trip. The OTP means it's actually tripped and is limiting charge and discharge, for example, on over temperature protection. Then you have OV, which is over voltage, like an alarm, and then OVP, which means it's protecting the pack, it's shutting things down, uh, that sort of thing. And then same thing, under voltage, your alarm, you're getting ready to trip, and then under voltage protection, it's actually tripped. Same thing, OC is over current, and then over current protection, and then SCP, short circuit protection. So let's say you're hooking it up and you weren't following the proper procedure and you happen to short things out, which is very bad and very scary on a 48 volt system because you can have some serious um, energy coming if you did have a short circuit, but that would indicate here. And then the BMS has onboard diagnostics. So if something went catastrophically wrong, it will report whether or not the BMS has failed. And if you do ever get failure, contact Current Connected and we'll get you taken care of. The only other menu is parameter setting. Now with this BMS, we're not the manufacturer of the BMS. It's actually made by a third party other than SOK. So there are other options that are unlocked on other BMSs, but not on this one. Um, that's currently what controls like the dry contact and that sort of thing. Um, so not much to see in there. And then under system settings, the only option is the baud rate for the RS-232 communications and that sort of thing. So that about covers it. That's the whole menu structure. Now the most important things to look at are just under analog info, just going down four options to cell capacity to see your state of charge. That's about the only one I really look at. So. Hope this helps and get you guys a little bit more familiar with the battery. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comments down below.